Mm. The betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Welcome back for race number two. This will be around the turn over 1600 meters. Named after Bold Respect 2018. It's a juvenile plate, so they get to go the mile trip here. And let's get straight into the package and the action. Bold Respect 1600. And we're going to take a look at number three, Grinkov, coming through to win on the 3rd of April when beating Aztec Warrior. And then we'll be followed with an interview by Glenn Cotson. And who better to tell us more? Still green in the running. Aztec Warrior is going to go towards the inside. Ocean Time, the one to get a hold of. Mr. Henley, now Grinkov's running on. Aztec Warrior is on the inside. Grinkov, though, puts his head in front. Parmenian's running on, but Grinkov, not even a roadblock could have stopped him today. Two class he wanted. Aztec Warrior second, then came Ocean Time and Mr. Henley. Yeah, that was two months ago, and he's really matured into a magnificent horse. Um, his gallop was a winning one. I know he's giving weight to the whole field, but I think he's the class horse of the race. Um, he's possibly the bank in, in all our exotics anyway. So uh, we're very excited. He's crying for the ground. His, his mother is, uh, is a daughter of or sister to Mother Russia's mother, so uh, he's very well related. By twice over, crying for the ground, I think he's the horse to beat. As you've heard from Glenn Cotson, number three, Grinkov, superbly bred the son of twice over. He had the winning formula last time out. And when you look at his record, he ran behind Cliff Top, the likes of Weird Jamming. Those form lines have worked out very well. We'll see Cliff Top later on in the gold medallion. So, a cracking run. Very good run, and we saw Ocean Time, obviously, in the first clip when we showed the first race coming out to beat Mr. Henley, and there we saw them running behind Grinkov. I think Grinkov's form, it's always difficult to gauge the two-year-old form, and of course they're going 1,600 metres, which is uh, uh, no strange distance for uh, Grinkov's market, market rival, National Star, who's uh, run second in its last two starts over 1,600 metres, and National Star carries 54, Grinkov carries 60. They both quoted 17 to 10 in the early betting exchanges, but you'll see on my short list I've suggested Grinkov is a bipod banker, and for me, in fact, I think he's one of the better bets on the card. He's bred to go the extra ground. He's shown very useful promise um, over the sprint distances. As we heard there from Glenn, he's crying out for this distance and doing well at home. So I'm looking for nothing to beat Grinkov. I'm in your camp number three, Grinkov, as Glenn Cotson mentioned, winning work back home. The Philly National Star does get the six kgs from Grinkov, and then number one, in with a chance. After winning last time out, we'll enjoy the step up to the 1600. So that's a look at race number two, where we're looking for number three, Grinkov, to come back with a bang and go back to back as far as victories go. It's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.